Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about geography chapter number one, the Earth and the solar system. Full summary. Solar system, the sun, nine planets, satellites, asteroids, and meteorites from the solar system forms a solar system. Sun, the sun is the center of our solar system. It is made up of extremely hot gases. The sun is about 150 million kilometers away from the earth. So you can imagine how far it from us. Planets. There are nine planets in our solar system. The nine planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Here I have not mentioned Saturn because of some mistakes, but Saturn is also uh, a planet. Planet moves around the sun in a fixed orbit. It's not like planets are going here and there. Planets move in a fixed orbit. Mercury is the nearest planet of the Earth, but it's not the hottest planet because Mercury does not have atmosphere. And Venus has the second planet, Venus has atmosphere. So that's why Mercury has, is not the hottest planet, but Venus is the hottest planet. The Earth. Earth is the third nearest planet to the sun and fifth largest planet of our solar system. So you can see full third planet to the sun, Earth, and fifth largest planet. It is the Earth that is that is the Earth that is a, a life supporting planet. It's a unique planet because it supports life. It has water, it has air, and whatnot. It also called the blue planet because 70% of the water is present on the earth. It's shaped as a geoid. Have you seen any, uh, uh, you know what, have you seen any, uh, uh, you know what, orange? Or have you ever eaten? How it's like? It's the poles are like dabba dabba type. So that is like a shape of geoid. And the earth is like that only. The moon. The moon is the only satellite of the earth. The moon is only the satellite which is a natural satellite. Natural satellite is the uh, the satellite which is made in the solar system and now it became a uh, satellite of a planet. Like the moon has become the satellite of the earth. Its diameter is one quarter of the earth. It is about 3,84,400 kilometers away from us. It's the nearest uh, celestial body of the earth. But as you can see, it's far but near. It moves around the earth in about 27 days. Only one side of the moon is visible to us on the earth. No life exists on moon as it has neither air nor water. Asteroids. There are numerous tiny bodies which move around the sun between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. The largest asteroid is Ceres. Meteorites, the brother of asteroids, the small pieces of rocks which move around the sun are called meteoroids. Our solar system is part of the Milky Way galaxy. Milky Way galaxy was named as Akash Ganga. In ancient times, Milky Way galaxy was known as Akash Ganga. There are millions of galaxies that make the universe. You live in Earth. Earth is in solar system. Solar system is a galaxy and galaxy is a universe. The stars and the moon are celestial bodies which are visible only at night in the sky. During daytime, the power of sunlight renders them invisible. Have you seen any aeroplane in the sky? It looks so small. From my side, I think that I can fit the aeroplane in my pocket. But from if we talk about a real version, it's very, very, very big that you can't even, it's your highest. Why? Because it's so big. But because it is so far from us, we can't, uh, we see them, it very small. That's why the stars which you see in the night looks very small because they are very far from us. It could be that the stars which you see in the night are bigger than sun. But because they are so far from us, we can see them very small. As you know what? The stars we don't stars have stars has their own heat and light, but we 
can't uh, you know feel the heat of the stars which we see in the night because they are very far from us the moon appears differently of different nights like the full moon only once a month on the purnima night whereas the, on the 15th night after that there is no moon in the sky which is called amavasya this is a new moon in this there is no moon in the sky it's called amavasya so let me tell you from the starting it's third quarter then it's vaning gibbous then full moon then waxing with us first quarter waxing crescent new moon no moon at all vaning crescent and like this it moves some celestial bodies are very big and hot since they are made up of gases they are called stars the sun is also a star we do not feel the heat and light of the stars other than the sun since they are very from us from us Groups of stars that are visible in definite patterns are called constellations. Usha measured the big bear, the small bear, Satrishi, etc. are some well-known constellations. You know what? Usha measure is a constellation, which is the well-known constellation. You know what? One of the most easily recognizable constellation is Satrishi. Sat Sapta seven rishi sages. It's made up of seven stars, and it forms a group of seven stars that forms a part of a Usha major constellation. You know what? Here the stars begin, and now after this end, you can see North Star. And thank you so much for watching. But before that, you have to learn about this Sun. This is Sun, and some nearest planet is Mercury. But Mercury has not atmosphere. That's why the heat goes to Venus. Venus is the hottest planet. Third planet. Third, la uh, third planet to the sun is Earth, which we are living. Mars, asteroid belt. I tell you in the asteroid spot that asteroids are found uh, in Mars between Mars and Jupiter. Here you can see. Now this is Saturn, this is Uranus, and this is Neptune. And do you know in 2006 Pluto was set as a dwarf planet. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like to my video, comment. Have if you have any suggestions or any queries, you can comment me down and share this video with your friends. And you have to subscribe like this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.